Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in today's video, I would like to show you how you can restore your own OneDrive for business. Uh, hopefully this is not the functionality uh, you will uh, ever need to use, but I would like to explain it to you in case if you do. So let me explain to you what I'm talking about. So um, this is actually the same functionality we have in SharePoint and I recorded a video uh, a little bit earlier on how to do it in SharePoint, uh, but we can do the same in OneDrive for Business. So I'm logged in here as Mary. This is Mary's uh, OneDrive for Business account. And of course, uh, OneDrive for Business account um, is pretty much a private repository for that particular user. This is where Mary stores uh, all her documents. Uh, and let's just say, you know, something drastic really happened. And I'm not talking about occasional, you know, deletions of documents. I'm talking about something more catastrophic. You know, maybe half of the OneDrive was uh, somehow deleted, you know, wiped out or affected by, you know, uh, encrypted by viruses and so on. Uh, just to remind you in case, you know, if, um, you know, a Mary, if a user needs to, you know, delete some documents by accident, you know, and uh, they need to be restored, they can easily be restored uh, from the recycle bin. So the user can just log into the recycle bin and uh, click uh, on the recycle bin and restore the files as necessary. Uh, the functionality I'm about to show you is for more catastrophic situations, I guess. Uh, as I mentioned, it's uh, if something really, you know, bad happened, um, you you totally kind of wiped out, you know, maybe uh, half of your, you know, OneDrive or maybe some, again, uh, files were encrypted by viruses and so on. So essentially, um, what you can do, you can almost um, uh, pretty much be like in a time machine. You can restore your OneDrive to an earlier state. Let me show you how to do that. Uh, it's actually pretty straightforward. All you have to do is just click on the gear icon and click on restore your OneDrive. Now, what you have to do here um, is, um, you know, restore, essentially choose the restore point. Uh, you have, you, we can go back a week ago, three weeks ago, but I would like to go for custom uh, date and time. All right, just like that. And what you're going to see, you're going to see the slider that shows you the activity within OneDrive. So I guess Mary has not been working, you know, lately much in her OneDrive, but, you know, a few days ago, uh, there was some activity, you know, uh, four days ago, there was some activity. So it just shows you um, pretty much the level of activity within the OneDrive. So you can choose a specific restore point. Uh, very important, you can only go back, um, you know, 30 days essentially, all right? Uh, remember with the, the recycle bin, you can restore within 93 days if you need to restore individual files and folders. But here, if you want to restore the entire OneDrive, you only have this 30 day period. So uh, let's just see. So there was some activity two days ago, four days ago, and you know, down below, it actually shows you exactly what happened on those days. All right, so two days ago, I guess Mary updated some files, added some files. Uh, four days ago, uh, Mary deleted and moved some files. And another thing that's interesting, uh, not only you can choose the date, you can actually choose the specific time uh, during the day. So if, for example, there was some activity in the morning and then in the afternoon, you can actually choose a specific restore point. So let me just choose uh, this one, this particular restore point. So uh, when you click the restore button, it actually tells you, you we're going back to the specific date and specific time up to a second, you see. So everything between now and then will be gone very important it's like literally like a time machine we're literally going back to this particular date this particular uh, time and at this point you just need to click the restore button it gives you a warning message this is a pretty you know serious operation um obviously um so it wants to make sure you want to do it yes and we just click uh, restore and at this point um you know, essentially your OneDrive is in read-only mode temporarily for obvious reasons. So you cannot, you know, make changes while it's been restored. And depending on the size of your OneDrive, um, it might take a while for it to be restored. But once it is fully restored, um, you will, essentially it will say 100% completed. 
So I resumed uh, this video after my OneDrive has been restored. It only took like three minutes or so. I don't have much content in uh, this particular OneDrive. But uh, once it's restored, the you know the picture tone becomes uh, you know nice and colorful, and it says your OneDrive has been restored 100% completed. So let's just click the button and let's see what um, you know essentially Mary's OneDrive looked like. Uh, back on this date and time, and this is what it looks like. Um, you probably recall I had a different, you know, uh, different file in here uh, instead of this one, and I think some of the folders have changed. But essentially, we literally went back, uh, y you know, several days, and this is how uh, Mary's OneDrive looked like at that you know, at that earlier, you know, point of time, and uh, very important everything. Uh, that was done, you know, created or modified uh, between that date and today uh, is essentially gone. So it's very, very important to understand that uh, concept. But other than that, that's pretty much how uh, the restore uh, feature uh, works. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, you can do the same thing in SharePoint. In SharePoint, it's probably a bit more you know, complicated because obviously SharePoint libraries tend to be uh, much larger than OneDrive, um, you know, uh, repositories and plus you have other stakeholders, you know, uh, the users involved, but, um, um, you know, we do have the same feature on SharePoint uh, document library as well. So that's all I really wanted to show you in this particular video. Hopefully you learned something new. As always, happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Goodbye.